Pizza? How you doing? It's Not in market. The last exorcism tells the story of a reverend who has been cheating people his whole life by doing these fake exorcisms. And now he has a change of heart and he wants to redeem himself and he's taking this documentary film crew with him on his last exorcism. And we're uh, arriving at this farm where this girl, Nell Sweetser, is um, exhibiting symptoms that can't really be explained away. And then we slowly start to realize that maybe this girl might be actually be possessed. Well, well, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? I don't know. She hasn't said a word. Oh, Nell, hi. can you hear me? She hasn't responded to anything I said so far. Where's her dad? I have no idea. That's why I called you. And you don't know. I woke up. She was standing here. I play uh, Nell Sweetser. She's a 16-year-old girl from the backwoods of Louisiana, and it's debatable whether she is possessed or is kind of going through uh, a mental break. I think Cotton is a man who has finally reached a point where he no longer likes the, uh, the charlatan aspect of what he does, and that's why he's making the film, to sort of make amends for a lifetime of doing sham exorcisms. <sighs> I'm not getting any answer. Okay, it's gonna be okay, honey. Now. Oh. oh, God. God. Yeah, we need to get her to a hospital. What's awesome is that when people leave the theater, they're getting in discussions and staying up till 2 in the morning talking about it and debating and figuring things out and asking questions. And I think that's the ultimate compliment, you know, for any movie is that they leave and still are thinking about it and, go and going back again. Yeah, I mean, I'm still arguing with my friends about the end of The Shining and the thing. So it's <laughs> fun when you have a horror movie that really inspires discussion. Oh, no!